Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing our universe and a really cool discovery of a very unusual phenomenon that involves Einsteinian ring, or actually something known as the Einstein cross, and a supernova that's predicted to be visible again in 2037, even though it's already been seen three times. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this and what exactly this means to our understanding of the universe, but let's start right here. This beautiful video of the gravitational lensing that's usually something we expect to form around a very massive object such as a black hole, but also something that is known to appear around any object that has mass. As a matter of fact, this phenomenon has been proven and shown many different times. Now, the thing about gravitational lensing, with I think the most famous image being this one right here, this is a very typical Einstein ring, is that generally speaking, we can also use it to study a lot of things about the universe via the analysis of how the light travels across the universe to reach our planet and, in this case, to reach the Hubble telescope. The telescope that's been having some major malfunctions in the last few weeks or so. And so generally, when some kind of an ancient light tries to reach our planet, but it has to pass through a really massive region, such as a galaxy like this one right here, or another galaxy in this particular case, or even something more massive such as a huge galactic cluster, containing billions and trillions masses of the sun in mass, it will generally start creating these incredible effects and incredible gravitational lensing effects that we kind of understand really well and can use to study the universe while trying to understand some of the mysteries of the universe, such as for example the dark matter that could be doing these bending effects, or trying to understand how the universe itself expands and thus understand the principle known as the dark energy. And so, for example, when it comes to dark energy, there is still no clear answer for how fast the universe is expanding. This is known as the Hubble tension. And by studying the variety of these gravitational lensing effects, and then by trying to see how the light itself travels differently from one location to another, there is a way for the scientists to try to calculate how fast the universe expands. And although in the past the scientists generally just used a variety of different type 1a supernova in different galaxies to try to calculate this expansion, one of the most accurate ways of calculating the expansion of the universe is to literally try to find one single supernova somewhere out there that's been gravitationally lensed several times and whose light travels in such a way that it actually arrives to planet Earth at different times forming this beautiful cross-like formation that's usually referred to as the Einstein cross, where the four images are offset by roughly around 90 degrees. Now, these particular Einstein crosses are some of the most useful features in the universe when it comes to trying to understand and study various mysteries. Not so long ago, the scientists were able to use different types of machine learning techniques to identify new Einstein crosses out there, that will most likely help them analyze and study the universe a little bit better. But all of these Einstein crosses, for the most part, were formed by different quasars. Very bright, very powerful, but also very distant galaxies that produce a lot of light. But a lot of this light is very unpredictable. It's never really the same in terms of brightness. And because of its unpredictable nature, it's not as useful in studying and trying to understand the expansion of the universe, mostly because it's almost impossible to detect the nature of these light sources as they come toward planet Earth. Because just by looking at this, it's almost impossible to say what exactly we're looking at here, or here, or here. However, if we discover an Einstein cross of a galaxy, a distant galaxy, that also experienced what's known as a Type 1a supernova, which the scientists usually can find relatively easily using modern techniques, we can then actually determine exactly when these different spots arrive to our planet. Or in other words, let's just say that a supernova just occurred in this distant galaxy. The light from this supernova is now going to be traveling toward us, but because of the gravitational lensing effect, it's going to take slightly different time to arrive to planet Earth. And because we're looking at a cross, there are going to be four different times when we're going to be seeing this particular light coming from this distant galaxy. This will then allow the scientists to calculate the exact distances along with the exact expansion of the universe as well. And the more such galaxies with such supernova we discover, the more accurate the results will be. Now, at the moment, only three such supernova have been found. And the latest discovery of the third supernova is pretty much described in the paper right here. Now, this is a very interesting discovery with a very, very specific prediction. Here's, by the way, how all of this looks like. 
So this was discovered in the Hubble data from back in 2016. And the supernova happened in the galaxy whose name you see right here. This galaxy is pretty far away from us, it's several billion light years away. But in this case, it's not the galaxy that's exciting, it's the supernova. So the original images from 2016, the images that you see right here, all contained a point somewhere along the lens itself of the mirror image of the exact same supernova that happened in this galaxy billions of years ago. However, the recent images from 2019 did not contain the supernova anymore. Specifically, you can actually see the comparison between the left image and the right, showing us how the supernova disappeared after a few years, with the time difference being roughly around 200 days or so. And this means that even though the supernova obviously happened approximately a few billion years ago, following the supernova, the light from it started to reach our planet at different times. Now, the first three observations were about 200 days apart. But the fourth observation that's expected to be somewhere in this region is not there and has not been seen ever. And because the scientists are pretty sure that this is a quadruple lens or essentially an Einstein cross, they do expect the fourth supernova to appear in the future. It just hasn't really arrived yet, which of course means that it just represents this longer path that it's taking to approach planet Earth. But how long will it take? Well, the calculations suggest that it should arrive to planet Earth in 2037, plus minus two years. And that is somewhat surprising and to some extent very exciting. It's surprising because of the actual length it will take to arrive to our planet, but it's exciting because depending on when it arrives, it will allow the scientists to exactly predict the, well, a lot of parameters. First of all, it will allow them to confirm the prediction for the expansion of the universe, thus allowing them to calculate the exact ratio between the distance of the galaxy in front and the galaxy behind, while also allowing the scientists to improve the model for the dark energy and, of course, explain the Hubble tension as well. But because only three such supernova have been found so far, more supernova are needed to make these calculations even more precise. Nevertheless, in about 20 years from now, some of the future telescopes might actually finally allow us to explain some of the biggest mysteries in the universe once we detect the particular supernova in this region once again. Although the scientists in this paper suggest just looking at this region in general, if the supernova happens earlier, there's definitely something going on here that we don't understand. If the supernova happens later, well, once again, there's a new mystery. But if it just so happens that it does happen in 2037, it means that we sort of understand the universe as it really is. And it will also provide a new value for the expansion of the universe once again. But since the Hubble telescope is probably not going to be operational at that point anymore, and is probably going to be retired by then, all of these future observations are probably going to be coming either from the Vera Rubin telescope or Nancy Grace Roman telescopes that are going to become operational in the next 10 years or so. The telescopes that are also going to be perfect for discovering even more of these Einstein crosses somewhere out there. And honestly, it's really impressive how far we've come in being able to analyze these various gravitational landing effects and understand exactly what happens in these galaxies around them and what even happens in the universe as the light travels from one region to another and gets sort of disrupted by some of these gravitational landing galaxies. And this is of course something that's really fascinating but also something that's really important in helping us understand how the universe works. And so we'll be definitely talking about some other discoveries in some of the future videos. But until then, check out the study in the description below, and maybe in 2037, we might be able to see this fourth event once again. Or the chances are we might find more of these supernova in the next few years as well. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.